We did it. Elon Musk did it. The deal is sealed. Twitter is officially South African. Elon Musk confirmed the purchasing of um, Twitter's major shares in the game and Twitter now belongs to South Africa. Now I'm 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 just saying that in jest. I'm 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 just uh that's just figure of speech right there because Elon Musk is South African, we're South African. So technically speaking, Twitter is now South African, right? Now the first I, I've said this before in my previous videos, the first thing that Elon Musk needs to do is do a pretty much a clean sweep of these uh woke Twitter employees. Because quite frankly, this whole cancel thingy, this whole censorship thingy, it's been getting out of control, out of hand for quite some time. And Elon Musk needs to scrap Twitter clean of these woke employees that are censoring uh, right-wing conservative, conserv conservative talking points. Right? And the same needs to be said for other platforms. Right? Especially this one, <laughs> right? But non nonetheless, um, I'm happy, I'm proud to be South African. Uh, I'm proud of uh, Elon Musk. The thing is, although, although I'm not personally sure where Elon Musk's political standings are, whether he's a liberal or a conservative, I have no idea, right? I'm unable to fully comprehend Elon Musk's in, in terms of his political views but he seems to be on the right side seemingly he seems to be on the conservative uh, side and of course we have uh, Warren Buffett being jealous of uh, Twitter uh, um, of Elon purchasing Twitter uh, he can go put a sock in it for for now because but uh, <laughs> This is a huge win, not not just for the right wing conservative side, but also for South Africa. Elon Musk putting uh, South Africa on the, on the map. But that's all for now. Um, yeah, Twitter is now South African. <laughs> that's all I have to say for now. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.